Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Ian Mullen. Hi, I'm Heather. Hi there. I'm Marianne Mullen. Hello, my name is Glenn Mullen. Oh, um, I'm the uh, father in this scenario. Uh, this is Christmas Eve 2010. And this is Jordan. And we are going to tell you about our amazing Christmases. Supposed to tell you about a memorable Christmas. Not just one, but a bunch of them. I live in Halifax now, but I come home for Christmas uh, every year. And uh, these are my memories of my Christmases. I haven't missed a Christmas. Uh, I'll, I'll start with this one. Um, I was in the Middle East. My sister Kathleen and I were... Ooh, 1981? She was a teenager and I was probably about eight or nine. My first Christmas away from Canada was in the Beaumont Heights. Um, some of my most memorable Christmases have been with the cats. Every Christmas we go to church. One of my favorite Christmas stories is, uh, and there's always a puppet show and we always have a good laugh about it. Years and years ago they had these these beautiful puppets done up and the puppets are all of Mary Joseph and the camel and the... It was one of the first years I wanted to give gifts. It's one of my first Christmases ever out of country. I only had a little wee bit of money. Presents from home and um, you know, um... So I um, I bought her some soap. That was always a high point. I bought her some soap, but it was Dove soap. Uh, we were having Christmas dinner. Well, Kathleen and I never had a great relationship when we were young. And halfway through uh, Christmas dinner, um... I gave her this soap, and then a couple days later, um, her face swelled up. And they chose that point in time to celebrate it with the Israelis by having a a long artillery barrage. It was a fantastic show of years and years ago. They did the whole nativity. Like, you know, uh, either Glenn would wake up and, and would wake up me or, or vice versa. But as the years progressed, they, we just, the puppets are just still there. When everyone in the household was finally up, we would go and, and, and wrap those, the Santa gifts. So every year they try and incorporate them as much as they, they possibly can. One year, Santa switched our gifts. And so one year I came home and we went to church and uh, and they had just used two of the puppets. And I got military toys. Now the puppet operators were young children. And then Glenn opened his Santa gift and he had a Barbie car. In the next moment of the service, a, a girl got up and sang a beautiful song. She and mom looked at us and was like, oh, gee, whoops. And slowly in the background, up comes the Mary puppet and starts lip syncing with this little girl. I guess Santa switched them. Sometimes he gets mixed up too. And before you knew it, we were all laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. And we were laughing so hard that we d we couldn't hear uh, the fact that no one else in the entire room was laughing at this. And we discovered it was the soap. It was the Dove soap. So obviously she had to get treated with antibiotics or something. We, uh, we saved all our presents for Christmas. We had gotten a flight earlier that day week from Canada and I uh, spent my Christmas morning itself. Uh, we had built a tree uh, by cutting off limbs of a, a local bush. I fashioned into a tree, placed all our presents underneath and uh, had a little bit of a, a Christmas. So anyways, I hope... I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas! And I hope that you and your family, or wherever you are, um, wishing you all the joys of the season, are having a wonderful Christmas. Anyways, that's her. Merry Christmas. Cheers.
Perfect, eh? 